Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude. I just stopped off at another Toys R Us and look what I found, the Therizinosaurus. So now I have the Therizine. Uh, the last Toys R Us I stopped at, I got the Rex figure. I was not expecting to see the basic figures here. They're only $13. Um, what's really cool about them is like, <laughs> they uh, have interesting species like Morris and uh, Mirgaia, but Blue's a little lackluster. Again, I was totally not expecting to see them in Canada yet. Um, but I saw these a while back. Um, this Toys R Us does not have the full set. And sadly, I'm missing that guy right there. Um, I got the vehicle sets at the last Toys R Us. They're pretty cool. They've got some uh, special edition figures in them. Um, there's a full case of the minis, which is really nice. Um, they've got codes on the back. So like, right think right. Wait, where's the code? There it is. So the code's right there, and it's the last two on the bottom. Um, so that's really neat. I got a full set of the eight. Um, there's a really cool assortment of figures in them. Um, I also picked up these Rock'em Sock'em figures. They're pretty cute. They remind me of the, uh, the classic ones from JP3 in the Lost World that I have. Um, so that's gonna be cool, I'll do a review on those. The Rex is really neat. You can see the tail there, controls the, the head thrashing, but the button, as you all know, makes the head go down. So there's a hole in there to put figures. Um, and then the scan code as well on the neck. So that's wicked, but I already got that one. Um, the Mosasaur has new packaging. I'm not sure if it has, I don't think it has a scan code, maybe it does. Oh, yeah, it's got a new scan code on the tail. Okay, I might, if I make enough money on uh, YouTube revenue, I might pick that up to add to a scan code video. The claws are pretty small. I was not expecting them to be this tiny. Kind of sad, actually. Um, it'd be neat if they came in a bigger size, but yeah, they're obviously made for kids. Um, I was looking forward to those. My hands are too big. Um, and then, you know, the rest, the usual. We got the captives, eggs, um, Pato's still here, Ford Explorer set, Toro, basically all the things that are too expensive. <laughs> but yeah, no, this one's got a great assortment. Um, so I scored three new things. Um, if we came here earlier in the morning, we probably could have gone the rest of those. There is, I think, one more Toys R Us in Edmonton. I don't know if we're gonna hit it today, but uh, it might have the rest, who knows. So yeah, no, I um, was not expecting everything to be in Canada. I guess we can look at the Therizine. <coughs> Gotta press a little harder. There we go. The little teeth in there are painted. I think the head also swivels, which is really cool. The action feature still works when it's swiveled. Uh, the claws have insane amounts of articulation. They kind of remind me of the, uh, what is it? The Indoraptor figure that came out, but this is way better paint job. Like, I mean, beautiful paint job. Very thick, long tail. Uh, the feathers have a nice airbrush coat on them. Feet are painted. Um, on the back of the box here, you can see the Rex is also there. Uh, it's got the head turning action, interesting. And the scan code comes out between the hips. Oh, this one's a hard one to get out. But there's the scan code for that. Um, I'll include it in a video and review and stuff. But yeah, they've even got the, the old Moza as well. So yeah, no, um, still looking for Scorpio Venator. So hopefully I'll come across that soon. Um, these mini sets are pretty cute. I'm excited to unbox these, uh, especially this one. This one's really cool because it comes with uh, the, kind of reminds me of, what is it called? The Dino Rivals minis. Oh yeah, there's Miragaya, the weird opening mouth, and Dunspur, whatever, <laughs> that, that weird Pteranodon looking thing, and then Morris. So yeah, three new species and then blue. So that little mini line's super cute. Um, so the hunt continues. There's three more figures for me to track down from what I know, and then a handful more uh, that might, may or not, may or may not be here already. Um, so yeah. Again, I'm here in Canada, so we'll see what we get. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to watch all my reviews on all this new stuff coming out and uh, I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.